Welcome back. Happy to be joined by senior John Holmes. And John, the guys have to be relieved that final exams are behind. And now, at least until second semester, you can just lock in on basketball for a while. Yeah, it's always a good time, uh, Christmas break, being able to just do uh, basketball-related stuff, just being able to get in the gym more and being around the guys more uh, out, outside the gym. It's always, it's always fun. Is it also kind of strange when, when the students kind of leave and they get to go home and enjoy the break and you guys are, are grinding back here? Yeah, we were talking about it yesterday. Just Austin is always pretty crowded, and uh, especially on campus, it's always crowded. But then it, it's kind of eerie Christmas break, just having no traffic, no one walking around on campus. And it's just usually all athletes, but it's, it's always a good time to bond with, with each other. Well, take us back to, to Milwaukee last year. You guys uh, get to the second round, third round, technically, against Michigan. You lose that game. What's kind of the mindset knowing, okay, I got one more year to, to make this happen the way I want to? Yeah, I mean, I think each year, uh, last year was a big uh, a stepping stone year for us, just getting to the tournament and winning uh, the game against Arizona State and experiencing uh, what it was like to play in a, a big time game in, a, in the tournament. And so after that game, uh, it just gave us all mo more motivation to come out and work harder to, to, to be better this year and to be more prepared whenever we get to that step uh, this year. How much pride do you take in the fact that you stuck with it? I mean, you're part of a class that's uh, kind of disappeared except you and you, you really hung in there. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not too much uh, of me. It's, it's easy to, to stick around in a place like Texas. I mean, it's one of the best universities academically in the country. and. Athletically, it's one of the best in the country. So, I mean, it, it wasn't too hard of a decision to stay at, at this university. Well, you made some changes in the offseason. You went to strength coach Todd Wright, say, I want to get a little bit smaller, maybe play the three, the small forward. What did you do to put yourself in that position physically? Yeah, I was just uh, trying to eat better and just watch what I put in my body. Um, uh, did the same workouts I did with Coach Todd and, and just tried to run on the treadmill a little more, but mainly it was just eating better. How much weight did you lose? Uh, this past summer I got up to 252 and uh, right now I'm about 232. And do you notice a difference on the court? Yeah, definitely. I don't get tired as quick and um, when I do get tired, uh, the time between me being able to be fresh and but when I when I do get tired, is is a lot shorter than what it was last year. I, I know you were kind of struggling against Texas State. Just had a little bug. What was it like to come back out fresh against Lipscomb, put up 17, and and see your offense really thrive? Yeah, I mean it was something we really emphasized as a team. After the uh, Texas State game, we didn't feel like we came out and did what we practiced against Texas State. So. Against Lipscomb, we just tried to come out and, and play the kind of basketball we want to play, and I think everybody stepped up and, and we did really well offensively. When you jump out to a big lead like you did, and, and you know you've got to still execute, does it does it make it tougher to kind of stay dialed in, or do you know that the tape's not going to lie when you guys watch whether it's the first half or the second half? Yeah, no, I mean, we, we try to go into every game just knowing that uh, no matter who we're playing, it's about us. So, I mean, uh, with that being said, we can't really uh, take anybody for granted and, and everything we do, uh, like you said, everything we do is going to be looked at and, and we're going to be judged on what we do, so uh, everyone just try to put their best foot forward. When you guys are passing the ball the way you did against Lipscomb, how much fun is it to play in this offense? It's a lot of fun. I mean, that's that's uh, that's kind of what we do in, all, uh, in practice. and. It was good to see that translate into the game for one of the first games this year. Just everybody getting a piece of the ball and everybody doing what they do best. With Isaiah, uh, everyone hoping he gets back sometime, but uh, guys are getting a chance to play in different spots. How much do you think that'll help down the stretch with DeMarcus and, and Kendall Yancey and, and Javon all being distributors too? Yeah, I mean, it's really it's really helped us out a lot. We have a guy like DeMarcus Holland who uh, you know, wasn't playing as much point guard as as he was whenever uh, Isaiah was wasn't injured, and he's stepped up really big for us at the point guard position. So now we know we have a really uh, another really good quality point guard if Javon or Isaiah need a break, and then we have a guy like Kendall who's really getting a lot of good rep, reps in right now, and Javon stepped up. So all the guards have really really helped us out right now. 
You've always been a guy that, I mean, loose balls, your ball. I mean, they call you the bull for a reason. You go after everything. Do you notice with the with the weight loss that you're even more nimble out there? Can you tell? Yeah, I mean, somewhat. I think uh, just not having to carry all that weight, just it's it makes it easier on my body, on my legs, uh, not try to run into people as much. But, I mean, it happens sometimes. But, yeah, I mean, it's it's easier to do things like that. And you still don't mind stepping out and knocking down a big three like UConn. You've had a few of those in your career. Yeah, I mean, it's just something I feel confident and comfortable doing. Do you think about that moment? I mean, that was that was a pretty cool moment. You did it here, but that was a a, a, a game. A, a, but at UConn, rather, the way you guys came back and, and you were down, do you think about that moment? I think about like that, that last stretch just more than I do about the moment because it showed a lot about our, our maturity. I mean, we lost the lead, but we... we fought back and we had a lot of big stops. A lot of people stepped up, DeMarcus, Miles, Connor stepped up, Javon hit some big shots. So, I mean, it, it was a, a good moment for us at the, in the second half. That was kind of a floater. I mean, you ended up out of bounds. That wasn't exactly a straight up, straight down three. Yeah, it's not something I really practice a lot, <laughs> but it, it felt good leaving my hand and it, thankfully it went in. What uh, what do you guys, we'll talk to you a little bit more about, about the Christmas break, but what do you try to accomplish here in these last uh, three non-conference games? Yeah, I mean, this is a, a great time for us to get better individually and as a team. Uh, we don't have school to worry about right now, so there's really no excuses for us not to put our best foot forward in practice and then get in the gym on our own. So it's all about developing and, and being ready when we get back from Christmas and, and look to Rice and after that Big 12 play. All right, we'll come back with more with senior John Holmes as Longhorn Weekly with Rick Barnes continues on the Longhorn IMG Radio Network and Longhorn Network. Holland to Holmes. Jonathan had just checked back in in the right corner. Up top, eBay to Barnett. Quick look in pass. Here's Holmes. The two-handed flush. A great bounce pass. One-hop feed from Connor Lambert into Jonathan Holmes. One of many dunks against Lipscomb for the Longhorns. A dish from Connor Lambert. We talked about the guards. This guy's a big-time uh, passer as well, isn't he? Yeah, I think he's he might be leading the team in assists right now. He, he's a really good weapon that we, we uh, have at the four. Uh, not a lot of four men are known for, for passing the ball, but he's, he's one of our best uh, passers, and he sees the floor really well. That was your 87th start. You played in 105 career games here at Texas. What, what has this place in this career meant to you? I mean, it's, it's been humbling, and just it's, it's been a blessing just to be able to play here, being from Texas, down the road in San Antonio. I mean, uh, looking back on it, it it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun, and uh, hopefully we can end it on a high note. When you look back coming in as a freshman from San Antonio, uh, how much have you changed, do you think, and how have you changed in four years? I think I've matured more. Um, I, I understand uh, the importance of hard work and uh, loyalty and just sticking with it and uh, just, just uh, being around a group of guys that care about me and I care about them, it's, all, it's, it's fun. You, you mentioned it wasn't a hard decision to stick around because it's the University of Texas. What has this place meant to you? I mean, everything. I mean, just being able to, to know people care about me. Uh, it, before coming here, outside of your family, I didn't really feel like I really had that uh, group of people that cared about me. But here I know uh, academically, and athletically, I have a, a, a lot of people who care about me and want to see me do well. How's the time, do you think, prepared you for life after UT? And hopefully you'll get to play basketball beyond, but basketball is not forever after basketball as well. Yeah, I think I've learned a lot. I mean, the culture that we, we've established and that coach coaches established here is a lot of uh, core values that I'm going to take on after basketball, just uh, hard work, loyalty, just putting your best foot forward, not, not trying to take uh, more than you give, just things like that that, that, that are going to help me in life. As you grow through your career, you always hear about the seniors and it's one last chance and want to make the most, and now that's you. Mm. Do you kind of feel that, that this is it? There's that sense of urgency to, to make a run? Yeah, I mean, right now it, it's, 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 it's easy to look ahead to, to later on, but right now we're just focusing on the next game. I mean, we, 
we have so far to go and we have so much better to get that it's it's not going to do us any good thinking ahead. Well, you mentioned the break coming up. You get a couple of day, games and then a few days off. What is the holiday break? What is it going to mean for you? Do you get to go spend some time with your family in San Antonio? Yeah, I'm going to go back to San Antonio, uh, just be with my family for a couple of days and uh, just hang out. What's that like for you to kind of just be John back at home rather than, you know, the basketball player in Austin and, and just kind of chill with your family? I mean, it's it's always fun to get back home, whether it be Christmas or just for a, a day or two. But, I mean, we, we have certain traditions that we do back home, Christmas Eve and, and Christmas Day, that I, I look forward to. This is going to test your diet here a little bit, or you be okay? Nah, my, my mom and uh, my mom and dad are on top of that. They don't they don't let me slip up. Now, growing up in San Antonio, obviously, big Spurs fan? Not really. Is that right? Yeah, I wasn't the biggest Spurs fan growing up. Well, then they've annoyed you a lot with all their championships. Yeah, I mean, I didn't, I didn't necessarily dislike them, but I wasn't, I wasn't their biggest fan. Who are some of the players that either you look up to or influenced you, you kind of modeled your game after? Yeah, my favorite player, hands down, is, is Carmelo Anthony. And he's someone I like watching and just play like. When you were young, what, what else did you do athletically besides basketball? I played football all the way up to my sophomore year in high school. Played baseball uh, into middle school, and and other than that, just did things like regular uh, young kids do. Football? Did you did you get too big, or you were just better at basketball? What what was that decision? It was actually I, I stopped playing because I didn't like the weight room, and I didn't <laughs> want to be in the weight room. But a little did I know, we lift almost every day here. So I mean, it's it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah, I think Todd Wright might have changed your mind about yeah, the weight room. Yeah, I didn't realize that you love just as much uh, in basketball as you do in football. With the break, also a good chance for you guys, to, you talked about it earlier, that you, you are together on campus and it's just the guys. How important is that bonding time, do you think? Yeah, I mean, it's important. Just to, We have really good team chemistry. Uh, it's probably the best since I've been here. Just with having a group of older guys along with a group of younger guys, just being able to mesh in between uh, each other, it's just really good to be able to, to build that chemistry even stronger by hanging out with each other. How's, has Coach changed at all in four years? He's been the same through it all. That's why I respect him so much. He's been the same uh, whenever we weren't too good, and he's been the same uh, today. He'll, he'll get in practice later on in the day and yell at us just like he would two years ago when we were uh, losing games. So, I mean, he's, he's been the same throughout the whole process. When you guys went through that two years ago, does that make where you are now that much more satisfying? Definitely, definitely. <laughs> Just be able to do it with the, the same group of guys who were told that we, we weren't any good and uh, people didn't want to come see us play. And, and to be able to do, do that with, with the same group of guys means a lot. One reason you're able to move out is obviously not only you have Cam and Connor, but Miles Turner. What kind of skill uh, do you see from Miles? He seems to be mature, kind of beyond his years. Yeah, he he is mature, and he can he can play too. I mean, he he can hit shots, uh, 15 foot now. He's really good off the off the block. I mean, he can stretch it out to the three point line, and he can rebound, and he can really affect shots on the defensive end. So he's really helped us out uh, this year, and he, he'll continue to help us throughout the year. Where do you guys have to get better? I mean, we, we need to improve offensively. I mean, we need to be more consistent offensively. I think uh, a night like we had against Slimscomb is putting us in the right direction, but we need to uh, continue to go that way. And defensively, we need to get better. Uh, On-ball defense, uh, ball screen defense, there's a lot of things we got to get better at. And then at Christmas break will help us be able to, to work on those things. All right, John Holmes, thanks for joining us. Yeah, no problem. Longhorn Weekly continues on the Longhorn IMG Radio Network and Longhorn Network.